Time travel has always been a mystery and wonder in the Star Trek universe, but what about a construct from the original Star Trek series? One that could alter time and take someone anywhere. Yes, we're talking about the Guardian of Forever. Time has resumed its shape. All is as it was before. Many such journeys are possible. Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. Our new entry to our Star Trek Explained series today is all about the ever so mysterious Guardian of Forever which might soon become relevant once again. Either way, we thought it would be a great opportunity to explore this mysterious construct that dates all the way back to Star Trek The Original Series, appearing over 50 years ago. Sit back as we dive into Star Trek lore once more. If you're new around here and want to stay up to date with the latest Star Trek developments in news, lore and more, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video, and follow us on social media to get daily updates on the Trek universe. Now we'll dive into the lore of this video first, before talking about a new time sensitive rumour, so let's get into the juicy content. Originally appearing in the original series episode, The City on the Edge of Forever, the Guardian of Forever is simply described as a mysterious conjurer of an unknown, ancient alien race. It essentially functions and operates as a time portal, giving access to the time vortex via its gateway, therefore allowing access to other times, locations and even dimensions. Not to be confused with an Iconian gateway or anything, the Guardian was located on an ancient planet, with the exact planet's location not being totally locked down in Trek canon. This planet is where the focus of all timelines throughout the Milky Way galaxy converged. The Federation starship, the USS Enterprise, under the command of Captain James T. Kirk, discovered the Guardian in the year of 2267. It was found in the ruins of an old, large and forgotten city, that stretched beyond the horizon in all directions. The explorers observed initially that the ruins of a city around them appeared to be at least 1 million years old, which the Guardian of Forever countered by saying it was far older than that. For additional context, that would even exceed Earth's sun age of 4.6 billion years. The Enterprise discovered the Guardian due to the ship encountering powerful waves of space displacement, with First Officer Spock describing it as ripples in time. Tracking the waves through space to a point of origin on the uncharted planet we mentioned a moment ago led the crew to locate and discover the Guardian of Forever. Before they could do so, Dr. Leonard McCoy, who was suffering from paranoid delusions at the time, beamed down to the surface ahead of Kirk's away team. Searching for the missing Doctor, Captain Kirk and Spock encountered and made contact with the Guardian. Immediately the Guardian forever offered the explorers a chance to explore the past, as it displayed images of Earth's history. As the two officers were stunned, Dr. McCoy leaped from hiding and went through the portal, emerging on Earth in the year of 1930. Captain Kirk attempted contacting the Enterprise, but with no luck, as the Guardian informed him and Mr. Spock that McCoy had affected a change in history, which ultimately caused the destruction of their civilization. With quick thinking in mind, Captain Kirk and Mrs. Spock had the Guardian replay Earth history, and they both travelled to a point in time before McCoy arrived. The away team were eventually successful in their efforts to prevent the damage and restore civilization and the timeline as they knew it. The Guardian would return Kirk, Spock and McCoy to their proper place and time, only a moment after they initially departed. Captain James C. Kirk faced challenges in the past, ones that I'd recommend you explore via watching the original series episode, The City on the Edge of Forever. The away team, once back from the past, being back aboard the Enterprise, leaving the Guardian of Forever alone once again. Amazed at the discovery of this ancient construct, a team of historians would accompany Captain Kirk and Mr. Swock back to the site of the Guardian of Forever two years later in 2269. They used the Guardian to investigate Federation history, noting the accounts of the formation of the Orion Civilization and the monitoring of Vulcan history in the 2230s and 2240s. Of course, this little scientific outing did not go to plan, as while Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock were exploring Orion, the historian team who were monitoring a pass of Vulcan caused the removal of Spock from a proper timeline. Spock eventually returned to the proper time and used the Guardian to prevent his own death in the past. Complicated, I know. 2269 was the last time, in Star Trek canon, that the Guardian of Forever was encountered or used by the Federation that we know of. It's likely, due to recognising the immense power of the Construct, the Federation restricted the Guardian's planet so that no one could go near it, or enter it, making it a protected planet for the sake of the galaxy's fate. Thinking about the Temple Cold Wars, an ancient time travelling Construct located on a planet just around the corner would be handy, but alas, it's not explored any further. Even the last spoken words by the Guardian in the episode, The City on the Edge of Forever, were Many such journeys are possible, let me be your gateway. This suggests that further stories could have been told, but none were, apart from the animated adventure in 2269. Other Star Trek media had considered using the Guardian Forever, with Star Trek Deep Space Nine considering it at one point, but the idea was ultimately dismissed. 
The 2009 Star Trek film was rumoured to contain the Guardian Forever being used by Roman to travel back in time, yet as we know, this was not the case. A little fun fact I found while researching this video topic, the Guardian's portal displays many images of past and future events in time. One such image is of a sailing ship firing its cannons. This would later be seen in the intro to the Mirror Universe episodes of Star Trek Enterprise. Interesting, wouldn't you say? Now that is everything we have on the Guardian of Forever canon-wise. You can of course explore additional stories and books set in the extended universe and canon of Star Trek, but for the purpose of this video, we wanted to keep it simple. Let's explore how the Guardian may play into the future of Star Trek canon once more, specifically Star Trek Discovery Season 3. It's revealed in Discovery Season 3, Episode 8, The Sanctuary, that Philippa Georgiou is somewhat dying. While not totally explained, as that's likely to happen in Episode 9, aka Terra Firma Part 1, it's indicated in trailers and clips that Georgiou cannot survive in the 32nd century, as she is too far removed from her own timeline and own universe when you think about it. Kovic, the old man at Federation Headquarters, explains to Dr. Hugh Colbert in the episode trailer for Terra Firma that individuals who jump across time from different universes eventually die. This is because their molecules can't work properly, they can't anchor themselves to the correct place in time. That's not the scientific explanation, just a bit of a simpler one. So where am I going with this? Well, rumour has suggested that Philippa Georgiou might have to travel back in time. This would also make sense as she does have her own spin-off Section 31 show to eventually appear in. Terra Firma Part 1 and Part 2 is also written by Bowie Young Kim and Erica Lindenpole. Both of these writers will helm the spin-off show with Michelle Yeoh's character of Georgiou. Personally, it is my theory and one that many others share that Star Trek Discovery will use the Guardian of Forever to send Philippa Georgiou back in time to save her, and therefore solve the issue of her being in the future. This is one logical course of action, and one that is very drastic. No other Star Trek series has utilised the Guardian of Forever since the original series and the animated series, therefore for Star Trek Discovery to do this would be highly interesting, and I'm certain that it would be an interesting adventure for long-time Trekkies as well. Though, how would this even come about? Well, let's be honest, by the time of the 32nd century, after the Temporal Wars, the Federation and Starfleet are likely to have locked down the Guardian forever. It might even be under the control of the Federation or someone else by this point. Therefore, the solution to Jojo's problem is right on the doorstep, really. Thanks to Discovery's spore drive, they are only a warp, skip, and a jump away from the Guardian's ancient planet. Of course, this is storytelling, and the Guardian might not be used, but I still think it might be a possibility, one I'm willing to explore even more. Do let us know if you agree with this theory, and are excited for the upcoming episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 3. You can learn more about the Star Trek universe by sticking around on the channel and checking our Star Trek Explained and Theory videos. We've got plenty to keep you entertained in the run up to Episode 9 and the future of Star Trek Discovery. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can follow us on social media, or join our community Discord server. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends.